it's all your fault. You made me do it. We're both responsible. In a previous video, I said if you guys gave me 30 likes, I would straight pop the GX. Well, guess what? You guys smashed it with 1,000 likes. I think we're actually over 1,000 likes by now in the video. Um, which means we are straight popping the GX today, and this is it under my arms if I don't drop it. It's a gloriously cold morning in Chattanooga this morning, so this will be the official last cold start before it's straight popped. Yep, that's it. Pretty boring to say the least, but this is no ordinary straight pop. We are on our way to Walmart to go and straight pipe because my beautiful friend Ryan from all the way back in South Africa commented on one of the previous videos and said, hey, you're doing it wrong. Why aren't you fixing your car in the parking lot at O'Reilly's or, you know, whatever. And I decided, you know what, Ryan? You've got a point. Hmm. Got to get those fender linings sorted out with these big tires. Um, you got a point, Ryan. Why are we not doing this in a Walmart parking lot? Or anything else for that matter so here we go and I don't know if you guys can make it out but there is all this stuff on the road it looks almost like blue little glass chips there you may be able to see just a little bit better what I mean what is that coming from South Africa we never used to ice the roads or put anything on the roads in winter or anything like that we just we were good drivers so we didn't need to know in all seriousness we didn't have ice on the roads and things like that at least for the most part so is this supposed to be some kind of ice is it uh, ice is it some kind of salt is it something else that they put on the roads I don't know it's the first time I've ever seen it I hope it's not salt not salt because I was under the impression that Chattanooga never salts its roads although this is the private road coming up into our residential place let me know in the comments okay folks so here she is stock standard She doesn't sound bad, very quiet, but she doesn't sound bad for a stock V8. And I know that these engines can sound a whole lot nicer. I'm just not sure that I'm ready for the noise. I'm not sure that my neighbors are ready for the noise. And I'm not sure that Lindy's ready for the noise. She doesn't know that this is about to happen. And here we are, folks, at the wonderful Walmart down the road from us where I'm about to um, get intimate with my exhaust. But look at the color of this GX. I have never seen that color before and i must say that that looks beautiful so i'm a little bit on edge about doing it here at walmart just because catalytic converter stealing is massive here in the states it's not something that we ever dealt with in south africa so i'm expecting to get a call uh from the cops or something like that so if you've seen this video tend to want i haven't been arrested if my wife uploads this video i'm probably sitting in jail send help i want to try and get these two nuts here off that are currently soaking just so that well just so that I can take the exhaust off in two pieces and then the plan is oh, is to cut the exhaust somewhere over here and straight pipe it out I thought I'd have more space under here It's not going to work. I was planning to undo those nuts at the back. They are so rusted and rusted and rounded that that's not going to work. So, plan B: cut it up. came off way easier than I thought it would and unfortunately I don't have the right tool to remove these grommets from the exhaust so I'm just gonna cut it
that was way easier than I thought. This here is the monster of exhaust that's come off and I reckon this thing <sighs> that weighs a good couple of pounds. So now you're asking me what exhaust am I going to put on and it's really simple. Here we go everybody my new straight pipe exhaust so I'm going to get this on we're going to start her up and it's not going to be a cold start unfortunately but I want to get started this is going to sound awesome i think so before we get started i just want to show you guys what my plan is so i've shown you the tip already and this is just down from o'reilly's i think it was 11 dollars uh, and then i've got this clamp to go around it so the deer is that'll slip over the exhaust that will go over there on the other side that will fit on there like that and we'll just bolt it down all in this whole thing has cost me including the diablo blades maybe 20 bucks for this Let's get it on, I want to get it started, and then we're going to have to wait a little bit later for a cold start. <laughs> I don't know what to say, this is going to be either a really good idea or really bad. Oh dear. Oh dear, she's loud. I think she's too loud. I don't know what to do. I mean, it's too too late now. Can't go back. She's on there. Let's see what she's like from inside. I mean, she sounds good. Oh, she sounds throaty. I don't think Lindy's going to be impressed. <laughs> This is quite comical. So if you thought that you've seen videos on YouTube before of what a straight pipe GX470 sounds like, I can assure you, I've probably listened to those videos as well. It sounds nothing like the video. It is louder, it is more obnoxious, it is in your face. I am at temperature and here we go, pulling off. I can feel it through my body, the reverb. I can feel it under my feet. Okay, we got a tunnel coming up. And, okay, there we go, we just dropped the gear. I mean, it's not obnoxious in here, and I think once you're cruising on the highway, it'll be all right. And if you put the radio on, I can't put the radio on for <sighs> that drone though, hold on. Okay, window down, tunnel, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna get myself into trouble with this exhaust. If it's not by the wife, it's probably by somebody that's gonna complain it's too loud in the apartment. Woo! Would I do it again? Totally! <laughs> okay, no, honestly, this is... <laughs> oh, this is ludicrous. I mean, I've heard louder, but you just see this Lexus driving down the road, which is supposed to be this nice luxury vehicle, and you turn around and... Okay, 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 okay. Enough, enough, enough. There goes all my fuel. I mean, she's she's pretty quiet on idle. Here we are at whatever it is, 500 RPM. She's at temp and, oh, nice cruiser. Um, nice until you pull off and then the little lady walking on the sidewalk is like, ah, oh, this is the sound of the V8 guides. It's amazing. Yo. <laughs> what did you do to your car? What do you think? <laughs> it's loud. You think so? Um, it's just the tires. 
No, it's not. I did. I just, it's from when I put the tires on. Mm -hmm. like straight Viper. Mm -hmm. Can you feel that rumble in the your vibration. belly? The vibration. <laughs> She's loud. Too loud. Never too loud. One day I don't go and weave before we go home. You like there's a lot of traffic. She's really loud. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a beast. Feel of vibrating through your feet. Yes. <laughs> she sounds. She sounds like a monster truck. A good monster truck or a bad monster truck? <laughs> no, like the monster truck sound. You know, just before <laughs> they pull off. The only thing you're not allowed to do is not allowed to rave like this when we go to church. <laughs> <laughs> Why will the people get scared? No, there's a place and a time for everything. We'll all be filled with the spirits. Some the holy and some the spirits that come out the exhaust. <laughs> so it's pretty chilly here in Chattanooga today. Pole like five or six degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know, 37, 38 Fahrenheit. So this is a perfect opportunity to give you guys the first cold startup of my Lexus GX470 straight pipe. I don't even know if it's worth calling it a straight pipe because there's hardly any pipe on there. I'll tell you one thing, is that hearing her on the camera and hearing in person, the cameras just don't do her justice. She is louder, she is more obnoxious, she is more in your face in real life. She still puts a smile on my face. And she just looking so good with no side steps on, new wheels, tire combo setter. <laughs> now she's got the girl to go with it. Well, that's a pretty sunset we got going over there. So I've probably done about a thousand five hundred miles already since I've done the cutoff on the exhaust. And honestly, it is not bad at all. In the beginning, I thought, man, this is going to be too loud. Started reaching out, looking for uh, some of the full exhausts, you know, free flow exhausts that are available in the US. And I've come to actually love it. Uh, I've taken a couple of people out for a ride and nobody has said, hey, this is obnoxiously loud. Uh, it's no louder than any other V8s that you hear uh, screaming up and down the roads, you know, the Dodgers and whatever else. Um, and you can really have a conversation in the cabin and it doesn't overpower you. And it's actually so much nicer on the highways. I mean, I'm sitting on the highway now doing the speed limit. And if I had somebody in the car with me, we could have a normal conversation without shouting, yes, you hear their exhaust. But it's not overly loud. So if you're thinking about doing it, do it. It really cost me a whole $12 for that turn down tip just to get the heat out the side. And I'm on my way to pick up Lindy now from work and we are gonna go and find some uh, tunnels so that I can just let you glisten and bliss. Is that even the right word? Just sit in amazement and listen to the awesome sound of the 2UZ. Really, like guys, just, just do it. there's just a wee bit of traffic but I'm going to try and do a pull in the tunnel here anyways I love it. 
Love it. Doesn't get old. I thought it was gonna. It doesn't.